Hallelujah. Hear me? I don't have to use the microphone. I won't. Thank you, Father. I think it's necessary. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Again, thank you all for coming and joining us today, for taking time out of your busy schedule. Um, we do really thank you. So, so, <laughs> so you can hit me on social media. Right? <laughs> thank you. Again, thank you for joining us today. You could have been anywhere else, but uh, you took time out your busy schedule to come and join us into fellowship with us and we don't take it lightly. Hallelujah. We appreciate everybody um, all of the time that you take um, to spend with us. Um, young man Mark, right? Mark, thank you for joining us. Hallelujah. Really appreciate seeing this young man walking up the street and just asking him to come join us. Hallelujah. All praises. Stay home, Hallelujah. All praises to the most high. He decided to come on in. Hallelujah. And that's what it's all about. It's thank all you, about Father. Just whatever we have to give. Thank you, Father. Being willing to, to give it Hallelujah. to whoever has need. Yes. That's the yes. only reason why we get stuff. That's the only reason why we receive from the Most High so that we can freely give it away. Yes. Right. Right. And so we honor the Most High. We praise Him. We thank Him. Hallelujah. All praises. All praises to the Most High on behalf of Restoration Center Charlotte. Again, on behalf of my awesome and amazing wife, Pastor Miranda. My name is Pastor Kenny, and we just welcome you guys uh, to another Worship in the Word. Um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, you graced us with your presence. And we just thank you for joining us again. Um, to those of you who are even listening by way of social media, I just want to say um, that it's extremely important for us to hear the word and yes. hear the voice of the Most High. Yes. yes. Especially in these days and times that we're living in, when we know that uh, whether it be government, whether it be religious uh, organizations, whether it be just the outright enemy, the devil himself. That, that this time is crucial right now. Yes. And I know that we've heard so many times that these are the last days. Mm. But listen, whether it's the last days or not, it's your last days. Mm. You never know when the Most High is going to punch the clock. Mm. You never know when he's going to call you home. And from that time, you await judgment. And either you're going to hear well done, or either you're going to hear depart. Yeah. Mm. And so, that's why when not everybody shows up to service, mm -hmm. I don't get discouraged. Mm -hmm. I pray for them. I encourage them to come. Mm -hmm. I encourage them to give the most high time. Because I understand that regardless of whether anybody else shows up or not, I better show up. <laughs> if nobody else praises the most high or not, I better praise the most high. That's right. If nobody's worship, willing to worship him in spirit and in truth, I better be worshiping in spirit and in truth. Why? Because there's a judgment day. And when I'm standing before him, you all won't be standing beside me. And I won't be standing beside you. But while I have this breath, while I have this time, while I know I could have been dead in my trespasses, while I know I could have been locked up for knowingly making mistakes and thinking I could get away with it, but the most high spared me. All of the things that the Lord has done for me, he has brought me to a place where now everything that he's freely given me, I freely give it away. And so I'm not worried about the few because I know that the Most High operates among the few. Right. And when I'm standing before him and I see the multitude hearing, depart from me, I never knew you. <laughs> depart from me, I never knew you. <laughs> depart from me, I never knew you. <laughs> I ain't going to be worried about being amongst the multitude. Then I'm going to be thanking him that I'm amongst the few. Right. Are you hearing me? Right. And so I honor you today for being here. We know that we're called to the city of Charlotte. We know that we're called to do a work for the Most High. And all we have to do is just endure. All we have to do is just be patient. All we have to do is just be obedient because it's our reasonable service. And everything that the Most High promised us, we'll receive it. And that's why I'm excited about having an opportunity to speak for, to you every time I get the chance is because I know that the Most High is real. When I doubted him, he proved me wrong. When I forsook him, he was a present help. When I was ready to give up, he inspired me by his spirit. And so nobody on the face of the planet can deceive me and tell me that the Lord, that the Most High Yah is not real. He's real. And on this pathway to progress, I want you to understand that that's exactly what it is. 
The scriptures tell us that we see through a glass darkly. That we don't know everything. And I'm paraphrasing that we don't know all things. That we don't know everything. But that which we do know, we're accountable for. But it is in the end when...